Hello and welcome to this another video of OpenCV tutorials and today I'll be teaching you how to read, write and show video from camera in OpenCV. So let's get started. So firstly we have to import CV2 IMPORT CV2 and run this. On the next part we have to create a variable capture cv2 dot v e d i o c a p t o r e video capture is a variable in open cv library which helps to capture video from the camera so the zero variable here uh, indicates the camera we are using so when we use zero it means that we are using the camera the default camera of the device like some devices uh, may use minus one so basically many number of device uses zero as the default camera value so we will use zero here and if you have any more number of camera attached to your device uh, you can use the second camera as one or the third camera as two so, so you can even import videos here by just simply giving the name of the video and path like we did on the earlier images how to import images so but we'll use our device camera here on this video so we'll just put zero and colon so moving on we will use a while loop so this while loop will help record every frame every second of the frame that has been recording so to create while loop while and on bracket to to detect if the loop is running or not so we will create another variable ret comma and frame frame is equal to cap capture read to read the video so the ret stores the true and false value of this while loop here and the frame stores all the recorded frame that has been stored from the camera will be stored in this frame variable so moving on uh, we have to show the frame so cv2 dot im show and bracket we have to give the name of the frame we can give anything so i'm giving your frame frame and comma the name of the variable that we have stored the frames on so here f r a m e so to not get confused i'll change the name of the frame to w i n d o w window here so going on to next part so moving on we have to create an if statement using cv2 dot wait key we have used wait key on the previous videos so basically wait key is like when a user uh, has to input any data the program has to wait so that the user can input the data so to check whether the system is running on 16 bit we have to use this 0 x ff to max it off we have to max the value and ORD so ORD here is used to close the window or the frame of the window that where the camera will be opened so very press Q the window frame will be closed so I'll be showing you how the queue is used and 
whenever the user inputs Q it will break the cycle or the while loop so here let me explain if CV2 wait the wait key is used to wait for the input of the user to press Q so if the user presses Q it will break the while loop and we will get out of the loop so CAP dot R E L E A S K. So CAP release is used to release all the input that we have given here so, and CV2 dot destroy all windows to close off all the windows when the code is finished. So so let us see the output of this code so here we can see our code has run successfully and we can see the output here that we have used the front camera of my laptop using the code and as we can see here when we try to close the tab it doesn't close because the loop is running the loop is running and when the user presses Q only then the window will be closed and when I tapped the here the word window it was the name of the frame right here the window and the frame where the image or the every frame of the video will be stored is the frame right here so let's press Q and see what happens when I press Q the windows closes and this is how you break the loop so now I'll be converting the color of the video to grayscale so firstly giving the name of the variable gray is equals to cv2 dot convert cvt color c o l o r and like we have done earlier the name of the file or image that where the image is stored and here we have stored the every frame of the captured video here on the variable name f r a m e so we will be giving here f r a m e and we have to convert bgr to grayscale cv2 dot c o l o r underscore like i have said earlier open cv uses bgr to g r a y and gray g r a y so we have to change here the name of the file to g r a y and let's run the code and see the output and you can see the color of the video has changed to grayscale and we cannot close the window like this we have to use Q and Q closes or breaks the while loop so pressing Q closes the window to check whether what happens when you enter the wrong video format or the wrong camera number so my camera uses zero as a default so I don't have any secondary or third camera so if I use any number other than zero or three it causes an error so uh, the code is like in this while loop we have to run a code of cap dot is open is open function and this causes if the video capture is in wrong format or in wrong number this will cause a false statement and the loop will break
or will cause an error so let's see with the print function So you can see here it's a false because my camera doesn't have any secondary or third camera so only I have zero and that means one camera as a main camera of the device so if I use zero the false will turn into true you can see right here so using like this we can add videos or path of different videos and check whether the path is true or not so next i will teach you what different functions cap.get has so so next we will print the width and height of the frame so using cap.get we will print cap gt and cv2 dot cap underscore prop underscore frame underscore width this will show the width of the image or frame and next the height let me just copy this and change width to height and now let's run the code and see the output as you can see here you can see the width and height 640 by 480 the width and height of the frame or the video that you are seeing right now in this video like this we cap.prop has different functions there are more functions and you can go to the website of OpenCV and look at it and use any of the cap prop function like we have just used cap prop frame width and height but you can see here there are countless many of them and you can use it by your own so now i'll be showing you how to save a video or write a video so firstly we have to create an out cv2 dot video writer so this video writer writes or saves the video in the local legs video writer and this video writer has variables so we have to firstly on the single bracket write the name of the video that is going to be saved now i'll name the output i'll name it as output going to put and the extension avi and next we have to use a 4cc code to add 4cc we'll just go here and create a 4cc for you are cc is equals to cv2 dot video writer v i d e o w r i t e r underscore for you are cc four cc is a four bit video code 
and for more information about 4cc you can go to the website 4cc.org and you can learn all about it right here so using the 4cc code by using this the next variable will be our for you are newly created for CC and next we have to add the frame rate and we'll give frame rate as 20 and the resolution of the video and we have known what is the resolution as here 640 by 480 so we'll be giving that 640 by 480 so now using that we have to create an if statement now we have to create an if statement if the if statement rel is equals to is equals to drue then the video will be saved so we have to put everything inside if statement and write in out dot write frame yeah out dot write writes the frame or the video that has been captured into the frame variable so now lastly we have to release everything out dot r e l e a s e and we have to create an else statement l s e to break the loop so now let's run the code and see the output as you can see the code is running and you can see all the width and height and if I close using this queue the video will be saved in the file as output output.avi as you can see and it's been saved in the desktop so let's go and check it out Here it is output and you can see the video that has just been recorded so today we learned about how to read write and save a video from the camera so hope you liked it thank you for watching